Hey everybody, in this video, I'm gonna talk about calibrating your side mount crosscut fences on the dashboard bench. Now, you have received uh, a long fence and a short fence. Long fence has um, three brackets that connect it to the table. Short fence has two. So those are already installed on your fences, but we need to calibrate them to the table itself. So you have some hardware that you've received also, and all, you just need to put the T-bolt in through the back of the fence bracket, put a washer on, and put your knob on there. And leave that loose. I've already installed the uh, long fence uh, next to the guide rail bracket. It doesn't need to, to slam up against there. Um, anywhere nearby is fine for a start. Uh, and for the short fence, um, we're just gonna slip this in to the top track on the back. And you don't wanna come up in the path of the cut, obviously, because you'll run into it. Um, but it's safe to put it you know, roughly in line with the uh, edge of the cut strip here. And um, you'll see that the other bracket is already positioned to essentially run out to the end of the track on the table. Um, that's a good place to start. So let's just tighten those in place. So what we're gonna do is make sure that all three of these surfaces, short fence, long fence, and guide roll bracket base plate are in the same line. Because the base plate has the, what we call the raised position, usable only on the dashboard table, where it becomes part of the fence to support shorter work pieces closer to the line of the cut. So they won't pivot because they are backed up by this. Um, now, I've already loosened the bolts holding the fence to these brackets. So you can see we can move this in and out. Okay, so I'm gonna do the same thing on the short fence. And I've got a 530 seconds wrench. I like to use a T-handle, it just, it's a lot, it's a quicker and easier. So just loosen those like so. Now, take something convenient and straight. And this is a 55 inch guide rail. Um, it happens to be a good length to make significant contact with the long fence, uh, the guide rail bracket and the short fence. So the first thing to do, make sure these fences are back away from where you want them to be. Get your guide rail and pull that up against the base plate of the guide rail bracket. So you can see I'm nicely in touch with that. So then just hold it down and you're gonna just push the fence up against it, okay? Now, I just use a thumb to hold that there and then come around and I like to just tighten, you know, two of the four bolts in this case because we're just gonna check it real quick after we do this initially. Same thing with this fence, hold the bracket down, slip that forward against it. Again, let's just tighten one bolt out of the two on each of these three brackets. Just enough to hold it and then we'll check it. Okay, so now we should all be in the same line. And simplest way to check that is, let's get the guide rail on here, pull it up against the fence. Now we're just gonna run it down and feel it and watch it as it comes in contact with all three surfaces. Okay, so you can see now, I have no daylight between the rail and any of these three surfaces. I can also just pinch this here and pinch this here and like pull a little bit to one side and the other, it's not rocking. So this indicates that we have been successful, everything is lined up. So now you'll go back and tighten all your bolts and make sure they're nice and firm. And you might need to go through twice just to double check it. Make sure everybody's nice and um, solidly connected. Now, once you've done this, that's it basically forever, unless you, you know, throw these down the stairs or they fly out of a moving vehicle. Um, these are gonna be set forever with your bench. So that's one time that you need to calibrate your fences. And thanks for watching. 